Let's say you've been training with X3 for six months and you hit a plateau. You're not getting any stronger. Doesn't look like you're getting any bigger. You're not making progress. You gotta ask yourself a couple questions. Are you getting enough protein? About 95% of the time, that's the problem. Reasons for that might be you're taking in a lot of vegetable protein. Keep in mind, vegetable protein is only 9% usable by the body. So if you get a pea protein, which is really popular right now for some reason, you can have a couple shakes throughout the day and get 100 grams of what you think is protein your body's gonna use. It's only gonna use nine grams out of that 100 grams. So it's not even worth buying or mixing up and in fact if somebody gave me a, a can of uh, pea protein i would say thank you and then after they walked away i would just toss it in the trash like I, I wouldn't even bother the sources of protein that are good are obviously fortigen it's the most efficient uh protein you can ever find animal protein and uh now of course when i say animal protein i think some people get confused um I do eat more than red meat. So like turkey, chicken, fish, like anything. Um, that's where you're gonna get the protein utilization. This is measured by nitrogen waste. So we can tell what proteins are efficient that we ingest because we can see what, what we urinate out. And sometimes there's a lot of foam in your urine. That means there's a lot of nitrogen waste. That's not necessarily a bad thing uh, because there's always waste when you have like a lot of protein. So if you have like a huge steak for dinner and then, you know, you go to, go to urinate before you go to bed and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, my, my urine looks like beer. It's like really got a lot of foam in it. Well, 38% usability is really what steak is. So you're going to have some waste there. So just so you know what that looks like, but you're using quite a bit of it. And also don't worry too much about the waste because the, the studies that are done on minimum protein amounts don't look at the nitrogen waste. Nitrogen waste studies look at nitrogen waste. So it's really hard to like dovetail the two to find the perfect amount of protein that you need. Uh, just the, the guideline is one gram per pound of body weight. I know there've been some studies that um, suggests quite a bit less is required but um, you won't grow if you try to do that. And I think part of the problem with those studies is these are all done by people who are the subjects. The, the objective is determining the minimum amount of protein. These people aren't athletic in any way and they're not doing any exercise and they're also not trying to keep body fat low. So you gotta keep in mind when you, when you look at a study, like what are they trying to prove and who did they pick for the subjects and what are the methods. All those things count. And if you just pick one variable out of a study, you're, you might be missing out on quite a bit.